Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I am bringing you someone, well actually two guys that I just got wind of. Maybe you guys know who these guys are, but I had never heard from this. And it came into uh, my recommendation, so I said let me watch him. So I've watched a, a couple of things. Um, today, what they do is they are exposing people, and that's not new. People exposing people all the time. But see, they're playing hardball with some big people, or uh, what the world deems as big people. Now, they, their channel name is Too Strong. And, um, let's see. They're going to expose Oprah. For who she really is, they say. So, let me just give you a little sample and then I'll go to the main things that they're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, any, anybody that wants to challenge us, trust me. By the way, we also take, we do debates. So, whoever wants to challenge anything that we say, and we, we will like, we like gun hold for this stuff. Like, we will get you on the show ASAP and we will talk about these things very respectfully. Uh, that's not a problem. I'll go ahead, Martin. And then I want to I want to talk about her, um, like more. I want to really get into her religion and and how she view God. No, that's where I wanted to go next. So I'll let you go okay. first. Yeah. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, I, I my personal belief about Oprah is, is just like I think about Steve Harvey. Um, they will lure you in with this whole uh, talk of faith. And strength of faith. Now, she's also a Joel Osteen fan, by the way. That should tell you something. Um, so she is. She <laughs> no Maureen. No. Corey and Marlon. <laughs> We're not inviting you to call. We're just saying people can call. Let me stop it there and let me fast forward it to because I don't want to show too much, and I'm not going to show uh, Oprah's show that they're referring to. Uh, so I'm going to kind of, you know, move the camera because I, they mentioned their channel has been struck twice. And so they made another channel and, uh, so this is, um, they got the old channel, but they made this channel because the other channel had two strikes. So let me kind of fast forward it. I, okay. I'm lying on her name. I don't want you to think I'm lying on her name. I want you to believe what I'm saying. So I'll have you listen to her after her talking to somebody. Because, you know, no, no better place to hear it than from the horse's mouth. Right, Corey? Right. Absolutely. In discussing the spirituality and the forces of God, but I also believe that there are two forces that are here with us. That we do have our, our, our God that we can depend on, but there's also a power of darkness that we do need to be aware of. All women. And that's do you, the choice do you believe yes. it, and that you can choose between one or the other? Most, most absolute definitely. Yeah. Now, yeah that so Marianne uh, Williams says in her book, Return to Love, that we're always walking in the direction of one or the other. That all of your actions in life, either you're moving toward the darkness or you're moving toward the light. Right. She calls it fear and love. There's this wonderful book called Ishmael by Daniel Quinn. Now, now, right now, I want to pause real quick. I want you to take the subtle very subtle way she does this it's it's real smooth and most will not catch it the audience blindsided by it but it gets in she instantaneously takes good and evil and translates it to dark and light it, it takes the edge off of all the bad things you could possibly do it, it is very stinking subtle. I want you to watch and watch, watch how she does it. A book called Ishmael by Daniel. Your actions in life, either you're moving toward the darkness or you're moving toward the light. Right. She calls it fear and love. There's this fear book called and Ishmael love. by Daniel Quinn, which talks it, which, which is... She did a double transition. Good and evil, light and dark, fear and love. You see how smooth... She just took that. Now you have no issue calling something good bad because at that point it's your road that you're on. Let me stop it right there. Let me fast forward it again uh, because I want one particular part to be uh, to, so you can hear one particular part, especially this 
part. I remember this broadcast. I remember the part he's getting ready to show you. So that what she said turned me off. I never forgot it. It turned me off uh, on 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 watching her uh, again. It's a gorilla talking, but anyway, uh, it talks about one of the points it brings out is one of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live <laughs> and that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways to be so a human being. Shut her down. Many <laughs> okay. To you see that? The lady tries to bring it back to God and dark and evil and evil and, and good, right? She tries to, and it's an instantaneous shh. Let me, let me sh sh watch it. And many ways, no, but many paths <laughs> to what you call God. That her <laughs> head be something else, and when she gets there, she might call it the light. But her <laughs> loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. And I guess the danger that could be in that, I mean, it, it sounds great on the onset, but if you really look at both sides, I there could be possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? <laughs> what about Jesus? There is only one way. There is one way and only one way, and that is through Jesus. There couldn't possibly be what you have to say. Amen. There couldn't possibly be. Because you say, you intellectualize it and say there is. If you don't believe thing. that, you're all buying into the lie. That means you right. You think, you think that if you, if you are somewhere on the planet... Watch this. If you're somewhere on the planet and you never hear the name of Jesus, you never hear the name of Jesus, but yet you live with a loving heart, you live as Jesus would have had you to live, you live for the same purpose that Jesus came to the see? planet to teach us all, but you are in some remote part of the earth and you never heard the name of Jesus. You cannot get to heaven, you think? And that is covered in the scriptures, too. People are talked about that. Now, I want you to see how, how I'll stop it there. You see how hard she works to disclaim one, anything to do with the one way. What that eventually will do will be just like it opens up a myriad of belief systems that you can have, and it's all gravy. It's all gravy. And they, I've heard that discussion all the time. What about the remote people? That's not your concern, bro. Right. Let me stop it there. Um, somebody was saying that. Um, right, it doesn't. It I does guess not change what is. It just because you want to bring some. up some uh, straw man argument does not change what is. It was a lie. Let me turn it. Let me turn it back. And people were able to comment. They are paying the parents of the children from the southern border that are missing 450. Oh, okay. They're talking about something else. I wanted to catch a comment, and I didn't. She always have been phony. It surprised me she is just being exposed. No, I knew about her, but you know, I didn't. When I found out about her, I didn't have a YouTube channel, and you know, I I never really wanted to talk about Oprah um, that much. But anyway, go to the channel of um, of this channel, and I'll put the link in the description in fact i'm going to cut this short right now because they have a live going on this channel um and um hold on too strong is the channel to the number two and strong so anyway this was um broadcast a couple of months ago december 31st 2021 so I just wanted to bring you uh, this. Uh, they they are exposing. They have exposed Tyler Perry. They have exposed Steve Harvey. Um, they have given reasons why uh, Monique was blackballed by the three. I mean, it's a very interesting. And I, like I said, I only want to show you a little bit because, um, you know... I, 
Uh, and I will put my disclaimer up because I'm not trying to um, get a strike on my channel with somebody else's content. Clever with his words and his timing and all that. He got it together, right? They hey, start you know. talking but about anyway, Steve Harvey. You sit there, he make you laugh, and he make a fool out you right there on the spot. Look what he did to that lady. Go again. Go back and watch the video for the proof. He got this lady on air. Now he say he's a, a man of God, he's a Christian. He got this lady twerking. A grown ass lady come out the stage and twerk. Why? Now if I tell her to come twerk for me, she's not going to do it. See, let's talk about influence. Come on, baby, come over here and twerk for me. Well, who you talking to? Steve Harvey said, yeah, I'll do it. You got me twisted. You did. You Who do? You know, she's going to call her brothers and her cousins them to come beat me up. But Steve Harvey made her laugh and then told her, Come on and twerk. Let me see you twerk. And she came down there and came down there and did it. That's the influence. Whenever somebody got that much influence on you to do something that you normally wouldn't do, then you think too much of that person and you need to flee from that person. I don't care what nobody say. Okay, let me stop it there. I know I said the the uh, the the video this I was going to end it at that point with Oprah, but I kept watching. It only has a few more minutes left. I kept watching and. I'm, I'm kind of soft with Steve Harvey too so I just wanted to bring this extra little bit because um, they hit on another person too but for real for real this time this is the end of the video so you guys have a great evening good night